Middleton. Chelsea playing themselves into the game. They haven't really hit top gear yet, but they've already hit the bar. Um, it's almost as everyone's just waiting for the Blues to go up a gear or two. They might do so now. Lauren James. Can't get the pass away, though. Bremer. Last time in the WSL she played for Manchester City. 11 goals in 17 games there. Ball going to Wolfsburg and she's in the middle now, Bremer. And it's 1-0 to Brighton. Paulina Bremer. From nowhere, made a run into the box. She gives the ball away there. You can see her making the way through the middle. Millie Bright doesn't go with her. Her arm goes up there. Millie Bright let her go. Kadisha Buchanan wasn't even watching her. And Paulina Bremer punishes Chelsea. And that and changed the complexion of Emma Hayes' half-time team talk. It's at the near post. Cleared away again. And that will be hooked wide. Shot and goal. Bagley hammers the ball forward. Kirby. Right, and can't get on the ball at the moment. They probably just want to get the ball as far away from their goal as possible. And hold out until half-time. Although, if they can break the other way and get another one, that will really change things. Vic Lasada trying to make that happen. Kirby. Ingle. Kadisha Buchanan. Parise. Lauren James. And now Sophie Ingle with a foray forward. Tries to play the ball into the channel and cleared away by Kulberg. Another Chelsea. Desperate to go in at half time level. Right and desperate to get this away. Short corner. James. Kirby tries to get the ball onto her left foot, can't get the shot off and will instead play it wide. Jess Carter is forced out to the byline. Faced by Lee Meng Wen, good play by Carter, gets the cross in, headed in and eventually Shurka Nuskin. That was inevitable. The amount of chances Chelsea have had. Eventually they had to breach Brighton's defence. With probably the last action of the first half it's a central defender and a defensive midfielder combining what a cross from Jess Carter and Shirka Nuskin is all alone there pulls away from Tatiana Pinto she's dispossessed once again and Chelsea can come charging forward and they will do so, and there is space for Nuskin again, and they will make it 2-0. Indeed, two goals, 2-1, you see. The confusion with this game, but Shoka Nuskin will finish from midfield. A textbook Chelsea break. And just a square pass for Nuskin. And Sophie Bagley can't get a hand to it. And from 1-0 down, Chelsea are now 2-1 up. Curled into the area, headed at the back post, and that's just wide. Mel Phillips, clearly believing that uh, Brighton can still get something from this game. But Chelsea will try and stop them. And here is Jesse Fleming. And that will be blocked as she goes. Now headed in. And the ball ricocheting around. It's still there somewhere and cleared away. Players comfortable in positions all over the field. Emma Hayes is total football, but there is space on the right side now for Casey Robinson. 
to Brighton. Waits for her teammates to get into the box. Will cut inside, plays the ball across and it will go. Berger clearly thought that it was a danger. She threw herself across goal here. Robinson with a low dangerous cross and Neve Charles. And they will try and work their way forward to get one of them now with Lasada. Charlie's rule. Sorry, two substitutes combining. Tricky Sari needs help, she does well to curl out the corner and get a cross in, which goes to the back post and the head of his wide. Ham. One of your brightest young talents, Shirkin Niskin. Wishes again. And now, looking can Reed will shoot his block. Nuskern cleared away again. Chelsea haven't got the ball away yet. They're still trying to get shots away. Played across and all the way and in eventually. And I didn't see who got the final touch on that one. It was played across. It may well have been Shoka Nuskan for her hat trick. It was indeed Nuskan. She. And you can see first strike there, which was cleared away. Brighton couldn't clear the ball. Kankovic recycles the ball. Crossed in by Kerr and Nuskan gets in front of Guru Bergsvan. Maybe they'd scored a little bit too early, and all they'd done would awaken the blue monster. That's what they've done. Jerk and Nuskin having an absolute monster of a game and the ball's given away and here is Sam Kirk and once again Ritten Kane Reid saved it will fall for Jesse Fleming and has somehow put and here they come again Jerk and Nuskin on her fourth goal squares it it's put in by Aggie Beaver Jones only just on as a substitute but she was all on her own and Shirka Nuskin could have shot then for her fourth goal, but she elects where the ball for Aggie Beaver Jones. And Brighton are caught playing out from the back. Mia Fischel pressing, winning the ball there. And then Nuskin could have shot here, unselfish though, and gave Aggie Beaver Jones the easiest of finishes. Dispossessed Carter. Sorry, puts the ball wide though. And Jess Carter just in of lack of concentration there. Perhaps just overplaying the ball and allowing the Estonian Via Trikisari to press the Chelsea win. Madison Haley, Maisie Simmons and a strike and Brighton do get a consolation. And it is forced home, fifth goal in five games. Chelsea just kind of easing off ever so slightly. Madison Haley's pressure. Maisie Simmons. And a great finish from Liz Turland. 